हेलो गाइस वेलकम बैक टू आवर प्राइम कोडिंग चैनल आई होप यू गाइस आर एब्सोल्युटली फाइन एंड यू आर लविंग आर ऑन कैंपस प्लेसमेंट सीरीज इफ यू आर प्लीज हिट अ लाइक बटन एंड सब्सक्राइब टू आवर चैनल सो लेट्स मूव टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन स्टेट्स फाइंड द मैक्सिमम प्रोडक्ट सब एरे इन एन एरे व्हाट डू यू मीन बाय सब एरे सब एरे इज अ पार्ट ऑफ एन एरे लेट्स से फॉर दिस एरे वन विल बी द पार्ट ऑफ द एरे सो इट इज अ सब एरे एज वेल एज टू एज अ सब एरे एंड सो ऑन like 2 comma 1 3 comma 1 uh, 2 comma uh, it would be 1 comma 2 because it should be contiguous fine it not be like you can take 3 and 1 together 1 comma 3 uh, 1 2 comma 3 would be there 4 comma 5 and 2 4, 3 4 5 something like that fine now what is the next thing that question is asking uh, to find is given an array that contains negative and positive integer find the maximum product sub array okay as we can see the output is 120 so in this question we don't need to return the sub array which give us a maximum product sum uh, maximum product sub array we just need to return how much is the maximum value we can attain from the sub array fine so for solving this question if you want to uh, apply your approach that comes into your mind i will put the link into the description the sheet link in that you go to this question and you can see the multiple approaches there also as well as there is a code link like solve problem tab you can just try to solve this question by your approach if you are not been able to i am here to explain you how you can solve this in optimal way i will teach you how to solve this question in an optimal way fine so let's say we have an array which contains negative as well as a positive integer and the main thing we have zero also so to solve this question we should have few things into our mind what we can do when we have a zero and we need to calculate the max so we need to store at every stage what will be the maximum value has been calculated so far fine so at i value equals to zero at i value is equals to zero and it would be i value one and it would be i value three two fine at i value equal to zero what i will do is before that i will initialize p which will traverse from the front side as well as s from traverse from the back side we can do this in using a single loop only and how you can do this into the single loop because we need to traverse from the front as well as from the back back end but you are telling that i am using only one loop we can do this easily by this formula like the total number of element present in the array the location that you are currently on minus 1 because at, uh, in programming all thing starts with a zero based indexing so if you are at zero index total number of element is 6 if you are zero to index 0 and 1 minus 1 would be 5 so if the i value is 0 you would be if you want to traverse from the back so it will start from the back as you can see if i value is 0 means i is here then another pointer will point to our last end now what i said it so fix will calculate the product from the uh, back side as well as prefix will calculate the product from the front side fine so how we can do that see at i value is equals to 0 p would be uh, prefix would be 1 into 2 because p, uh, when we are initializing that we will store p value and s value will, uh, equal to 1 now you can see minus 1 value equals to minus 1 so the value computed as 2 and minus 5 so what will the maximum of that 2 we have stored maximum of that at each iteration we need to store the maximum product fine at i equals to 1 what will be the value now so at i equals to 1 Uh, uh, now it is pointing to here. Two minus three. Two minus three. What will be the? It, it means i equals to two. It would be i equals to three because minus three is on two. So let's say i values two. When i values two, uh, two into minus three would be minus six. As well as uh, two into like if you take six minus two minus one, what what would be? It would be six uh, minus two will be four and four minus two will be three. So it would be zero zero one two three. fine so it would be pointing to yeah, there is a bit error it would be 1 and it would be 2 fine because 3 a 0 would be at 3 location 0 it would be at i equals to 3 location so we will reset our s and p1 value fine but before going that you can see we are calculating suffix also and prefix also for till now when we multiply both of this value 2 minus 3 give us minus 6 and minus 4 and minus 5 would give us minus 2 Plus twenty because minus minus is plus. Now you need to store the maximum value. Yes, I have stored the maximum value. Now when zero one two three. Now the, when i value is three and uh, and i uh, when i value is three, what is we have now? Uh, the array element is zero. So we'll reset our p and s equals to one. Now it will not go any further because 
then suffix will come here and prefix will come here and for, for the now the calculation will be gone uh, go go forward fine but at this location we will reset our one and p as you can see i have resetted p1 and s1 fine now we'll see how we can code this approach but before going that we in one word one line i would say we'll traverse from front side as well as the back side we'll calculate the product at each iteration and we'll store into a some variable so that we can return that variable fine now the time complexity and the space complexity would be order of n and the space complexity would be order of one why because order of n we are traversing only one time in single loop we are traversing from the forward side as well as the backward side now space complexity would be order of one that's it guys this is a pretty optimal code now we'll discuss the c plus plus java and python code so yes as we can see that the uh, python code is uh, we we have a function here which is a void function now we will maintain uh, max p where we can store the uh, answer as well as a suffix and a prefix which will be initialized as one because we need to calculate the product fine if we found that array of i value is zero and the array of i and the last value uh, equivalent to the last value from back side is same which means it is zero so you need to reset our uh, prefix and suffix now uh, if it is not if they are uh, numeric numbers not zero then calculate your prefix as well as suffix uh, prefix will calculate from forward side suffix will ca uh, calculate from backward side now just store the max because uh, we need to store the max at each iteration so max of prefix suffix will be comes here and compared to x max p we store the max value here and in the last we will return the max p value which will contains our answer fine now let's discuss with the c++ code in this code you can see same thing we have did max p as well as the suffix and prefix we have initialized now we have uh, gone through the for loops we will if we encounter it equivalent to zero then suffix and prefix will be resetted as well as prefix and suffix will uh, calculated again and max p and max uh, max p has been generated using the maximum value generated by the prefix and suffix and we return the max p value now in java you can see that same thing that we have written in this particular video i have shown you how we can write it there is nothing like pseudo code can be transferred into any type of language and there are few syntax difference only the logic is same i am not using anything else like suffix and prefix will be resetted if array of i value is zero and will calculate the max p value at every iteration and will return the max p value in the last that's it guys for this video if you like this uh, if you got something from this video please shoot a like button and subscribe to our channel we'll meet you with the next question